Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're going to talk about Cardano and its native token, ADA. If you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and also check out the Telegram channel, which you can find a link to in the description below. We also do have the ITC stake pools. If you want to come earn interest on your ADA, I would recommend going and checking out the link in the description below, staking.intothecryptoverse.com, and you will find instructions on how to do so. Let's go ahead and jump in. So what's going on with ADA? Why is it pumping? And what are some things that we need to be on the lookout for? Well, um, first of all, you have the sort of announcement of an announcement that ADA is, or that IOHK will be releasing the date of the launch of smart contracts tomorrow. So, you know, the argument could be made, we are pumping in anticipation of that date. Um, and, you know, I, it'll be interesting to see how the market reacts whenever they tell us when it's coming. I, I think it should be, you know, I, I think people are speculating or maybe it's been discussed, I don't know, um, late August, early September. So, you know, depending on, on what it ends up being, it'll be interesting to see how the market reacts to that because we don't actually have an official date yet. Um, you know, you couple that with what? Bitcoin being about the 20 week, right? I mean, that's what we want, isn't it? For altcoins, what do you need? You need Bitcoin above the 20 week. Bitcoin's above the 20 week. You want Bitcoin above the 20 week and you want it going sideways, right? You don't want it putting in new all time highs because when it puts in new all time highs, then Bitcoin takes the show over. So with these altcoins, as always, when Bitcoin is above the 20 week and not really telling us what it's going to do, whether it's 5% above it or whether it's 105% above it, as long as it's going sideways, it's good for altcoins. Now, the main thing to consider is that when Bitcoin is 100% above the 20 week, then it gives you more wiggle room on, on altcoins, right? It gives you more wiggle room, right? Because if, if, if Bitcoin were to drop like 10%, well, hey, we're back below the 20 week, and, and we're back to playing in, in the same damn sandbox we've been playing in all summer. So you have to consider that, right? You have to take that into consideration that we are only marginally above the 20 week. But as long as we're above the 20 week, even if it's marginal, our coins can still rally. Just know that it can be cut short if Bitcoin goes back below the 20 week. If you remember, if you guys think back to all of our, all of our videos back in like January, February, March, and April, I told you guys, you know, hey, Bitcoin can have um, uh, Bitcoin can have these moves where it drops 20% up here, and what'll happen? Altcoins will have a knee-jerk reaction to them. We don't care about that, right? We don't care about knee-jerk reactions by altcoins when Bitcoin drops. We know that's going to happen. We expect it, right? We expect that to happen. And if it doesn't happen, then like, what the hell is going on? But because Bitcoin was so far above the 20-week, our argument was that even if it does drop, as long as it doesn't drop like 40 or 50%, we're still sitting way above the 20 week, right? I mean, it'd have to drop all the way down here. So it gave, it gave us a lot more wiggle room, right? A lot more wiggle room than we otherwise would have had, okay? And so up here, it's certainly, it, there's certainly a little bit more uh, freedom, right? If you will, there's a little bit more freedom in, in the altcoin movements, and that's when you have months of, of major altcoin moves. When you're here, you can get short alt seasons, right? I mean, are they alt seasons worth getting out of bed for? Probably not, right? You know, no one's gonna get out of bed for an alt season when, when Bitcoin's just riding right above the 20 week. But they can still happen. We've seen them happen before. You've seen them happen over the last several days. Altcoin, you know, there's some altcoins just going absolutely crazy. Um, a lot of them have not put in new all-time highs yet. Some of them have, but most of them have not. Some of them will, I imagine, be able to put in all-time highs before, before Bitcoin, but I would say most of them won't. And if you're lucky enough to pick an altcoin that does put in an all-time high before Bitcoin does, then you know you, you picked relatively well. So I, I, I hope that as many of the altcoins that we follow on this channel, I would hope that as many of those can put a new all-time highs before Bitcoin, it's great, right? That Ideally, that's what we wanna see because you're taking on more risk, you wanna get more reward. 
I just think to temper your expectations, you should assume that it might not actually happen. Now, where is ADA, right? What is it doing? What's going on? Well, one of the things I really like about, about what ADA is doing right now, and I'm, and I'm gonna tell you this from like a, um, like a perspective of like, what happens if Bitcoin goes down? What happens if Bitcoin goes down? Well, one of the reasons I, I like this move is because it, it provides some security. It provides some security in the sense if Bitcoin were to drop back below the 20 week, then maybe we just go back to playing in the same sandbox that we've been playing in for the last seven or eight months. And who cares? Yeah, you know, just keep earning interest on your ADA and, and you just kick the can down the road. Like we'll get out of it eventually. Um, and this was one of those nice moves that ADA had back in May. And then when Bitcoin dropped, it's like, okay, well ADA dropped, but it just, it just dropped back to where it was. And because of that move to like a, a modest, a very modest $2.50, because of that move, ADA, when it dropped, it just dropped back to where it had been. So it, it, it very much mitigated the effect of the drop. Imagine if Bitcoin dropped below the 20 week when ADA was here, okay? What would have happened? Well, it probably would have come down back down this way, okay? That's what a lot of other projects did. You know, I, I, I like Polkadot, but Polkadot, you know, I mean, Polkadot dropped, right? Polkadot dropped well below its prior accumulation range. And ADA didn't. And one of the reasons it didn't was because of this move. So it still had a 60% correction, but the reason that sentiment for ADA is so good is because hardly anyone bought up here. And I'm sorry if you feel personally attacked by me saying that, but most people did not buy at that level because most people who have been buying ADA have just been buying it or DCAing it for the last, you know, six months, 12 months, 18 months, three years. They've just been DCAing it, right? And, and, and they don't really care. Um, but even the new participants to the market were, were mostly DCAing ADA up here and only a few people would have actually bought at this point. So that's the reason why the sentiment for ADA is still relatively strong. It's because, I mean, it went up, but then when it dropped, it just dropped back to where it was. So like, you know, we're, we're getting used to our stable coin ADA, ADA, a dollar always, right? We're just getting used to it. No big deal. So one of the things I like about this is that if Bitcoin were to drop, this has provided some security for us, I, I think. You know, I think it's provided a little bit of security so that if, if Bitcoin drops and we just come back down, then okay, who cares? Because if Bitcoin drops, other altcoins that haven't made a move are going to get hammered even worse. And maybe ADA can continue to just hold up. You know, this, these types of moves by ADA, they really remind me of Ethereum uh, last market cycle. And again, I'll show you what I mean if you're, if you're not fully aware. So let's look at the weekly time frame. Okay, we're going to look at the weekly time frame for ADA and, and just kind of look at these moves that ADA has been, has been making. And then what I also want to do is I want to go over here and I want to, I want to pull it up for, for Ethereum. Okay, so we want to look at Ethereum. We want to make some comparisons to ADA, just one market cycle off, right? Let's just look at, at what Ethereum did. We saw so many phases like this with Ethereum. And by so many, I mean two. And we had one here and we had another one here. And what happened during those times? We saw 60% drops. Who cares, right? And we were still just playing in the same sandbox we've been playing in for a year or so. So what I see last cycle was Ethereum looking relatively strong and going sideways for approximately a year and then shooting up to a new level. And then what I see again is Ethereum looking relatively strong and just going sideways for about half a year and shooting up to a new level. And then I say, well, can we make any comparisons to Cardano, to ADA? And if you go over here and, and you just look at this, what do you notice? I mean, yeah, it's just been going sideways for about half a year. So there are some similarities between ADA's valuation this cycle and, and its price action and what Ethereum's price action looked like last cycle. This makes me, I mean, it, it certainly is, is encouraging, I think, for the valuation of ADA. Um, it makes me really happy that I chose it as a hedge against Ethereum to navigate for the market cycle. And I'm, I'm very much looking forward to, to seeing what I can do. Note that the main thing that could cut this move short is if Bitcoin just isn't able to hold these levels, right? If, if Bitcoin's not able to hold these levels. So I know you guys, maybe not all of you hold Bitcoin. I think all of you probably should hold Bitcoin, but I'm not gonna lecture you on that right now. Um, maybe an area to watch for Bitcoin is the 200 day, 
it's currently coming in at a very modest $45,241. Uh, and we, the price of Bitcoin right now is just below that. So maybe keep an eye out for that in terms of what can ADA accomplish on this run. Also, because IOHK is theoretically announcing the release of smart contracts tomorrow, right? They're not releasing smart contracts tomorrow. They're releasing the, they're, they're announcing when they're going to be released tomorrow. So the good old announcement of announcement routine, um, might be might be an interesting thing to watch so i would say keep your eyes out for that tomorrow and, and and try to gauge okay are they are they kind of staying on a relatively um you know respected schedule are they kicking the can down the road right what's going to happen there and both of those things those two things coupled together will probably dictate if ada can sustainably break two dollars in the short term and and continue higher okay so some other things we need to talk about the ada ether valuation Right, we can't make a video on ADA and, and go this long already and not at least talk about ADA Ether. Because you know, this was the level, these were the levels that ADA always had a hard time passing against Ether for years. And I told you guys back in, in February that if there exists a set of market conditions that allows ADA to go above this ADA Ether valuation, it would be those conditions. And since then it sort of flirted with these levels a couple times, right? It came back down over here in, in April. I told you guys the Ethereum tsunami was coming. So again, I, I hold more Ethereum than ADA um, and uh, I don't feel bad about that. I mean, I just, I just recognize the, the risks at play. I hold more Ethereum than ADA, but I'm still very much happy with the way that ADA has performed. And you know, the way it has performed has made it grow into a larger percentage of my portfolio than I thought it would become. Um, and, and here again, you see it sort of fighting, you know, it's putting up a fight against the valuation of Ether which is somewhat impressive considering a significant amount of altcoins have bled against Ethereum. And ADA is still holding up relatively okay. Now, from the peak, the valuation of ADA against Ethereum is still down a very modest 41%. Now, to take that move up from the current price, in order for us to get to the prior level, the valuation of ADA against Ethereum, we need to go up a, a, you know, a, a more modest 67%. Now, for a constant valuation of ADA, for a constant valuation of ADA, where would that put ADA's value? Um, if it, or sorry, for a constant valuation of Ethereum, where would that put ADA's value, 67%? Well, 67% from the current price would actually put ADA all the way up at a very modest $3.30. Now, that might be getting a little bit too carried away in the short term, uh, because a lot of this will depend on Bitcoin. I feel like Bitcoin has a decent amount to prove here in the next couple of weeks, um, but that's where it would get you. If, if ADA were to go up you know, 64% or whatever, that's where it would put you, it'd put you just over, over $3. But I do not anticipate that valuation of ADA coming you know, in the next week against Ethereum. Now, if you watch the live stream from a few days ago, one of the things I, I spoke about on the live stream and, and I mean, I, this, was, this was back when, when ADA's valuation was, was over here. Um, I said, you know, there are some similarities between what happened with Ethereum um, just already and, and what we haven't seen happen with ADA yet. And namely, what I was referring to was the fact that Ethereum had already taken out these, these local tops over here, but ADA hadn't, right? And, and, it, and it hadn't done that yet. And so I was speculating in the live stream that maybe that's where we're headed and you can see we've, we've come back up above it a little bit now if we take that a little one step further and look to see well how far has ethereum gone above it let's take a measured move and we're going to take it from the from the, the candle not the wick so up to the wick it's gone up it went up about 13 and a half percent up to the candles it went up about 10 percent let's just say 10 percent right a modest 10 percent from the from the body of the candle on the daily time frame and then if you go look at ADA, how far did it go up, right? How far has it gone up so far from that, from that level? Well, 10% would actually put it at around 202, okay? So around the price that we're, we're currently at. So I would say tomorrow's a fairly big day because not only do you have Bitcoin below the 200 day SMA, which you wanna see it get above, you don't, if, if we keep putting daily closes below the 200 day SMA, um, then it's going to look relatively weak. If we can get back above the 200-day SMA and, and stay well above the 20-week, 
then it's going to be it's going to look relatively strong and then altcoins can continue to make moves remember it was last august that altcoins had sort of a mini alt season before bitcoin took over for the rest of the year so that's sort of what we're looking at right now right so far we're, we're getting a little um, at least a, at the very least a mini alt season it just remains to be seen how long that can be sustained and how long that will be sustained will be fully dictated on bitcoin holding the 20 week or not um now we also have to look at the ADA Bitcoin valuation, right? And and we noted, um, you know, there's a lot of channels that started talking about ADA once it hit like a dollar and thirty cents. We were talking about it on the channel at two cents, my friends. Um, and and this was the accumulation phase, right? This was the critical accumulation phase. The people who bought over here are extremely happy today. Um, and if you look at this chart, I mean, ADA has basically just been making systematic moves against Bitcoin. So it made one in January. February and March, we came back down in April and made another one in um, May and, and then it came back down in June and July and now it's starting to make another one in August. This will be an interesting, uh, a very, I think this will be a very interesting move right here. Why? Well, I think the reason why at its very core is because it'll tell us, are we still in this general uptrend? Okay, like if we were just all see like an uptrend here, Say, are we still in this general uptrend or are we going to put in say like a, a lower high right are we going to put in a lower high and get and get ultimately rejected back down and i think the answer to that question again will most likely lie in the in, in the idea that you if you want to see bitcoin um or sorry if you want to see ada put in a a higher high here there's two things you'd like to see you'd like to see bitcoin stay above the 20 week for a number of weeks and you would like to see Bitcoin not go parabolic, right? If Bitcoin goes parabolic, ADA valuation against Bitcoin is most likely going to bleed. The constellation price for that happening is that at least ADA USD probably still gets dragged up. And a lot of people, that's what they care about. They just care about the USD valuation. Even though they should care about the Bitcoin valuation more, they don't. They care about the, the USD valuation. So that'll be something I'm looking at. And I think tomorrow is actually going to be a pretty interesting day. Okay, I really do think it'll be a pretty interesting day. And it'll probably, probably give us um a, a decent amount of information to to help us come up with a, a little bit more relevant conclusions okay i mean it might take more than one day maybe it takes two or three days to see how the market reacts to the you know to the anticipated release of smart contracts but we should know soon enough I, i'd say we should know soon enough how the market is going to be continuing to behave um for the rest of august and the way that that it behaves for the rest of august will probably dictate what bitcoin's going to do okay because I mean, if Bitcoin, if Bitcoin just kind of hangs out at 45K, um, or let's say it just hangs out above the 20 week, the longer we hang out, the more, you know, the, the better it looks. But if we just get rejected by the 20 week in our first week of trying to be above it, that doesn't really look that great, okay? So hopefully this provides some type of update to ADA's valuation against Ether, ADA's valuation against Bitcoin, and ADA's valuation against the US dollar. Remember, if you do hold Cardano, I would encourage you to stake it. Okay, stake your ADA, go earn interest. We have the ITC stake pools, you can go earn interest on them. We have over, uh, I believe I believe you guys have staked around a very modest 55 million ADA. Um, so definitely go stake, earn interest on your ADA. If, if you have something out against me and you don't wanna stake with me, it's perfectly fine. Go stake it somewhere else, right? Go stake it somewhere else. There's plenty of small stake pools that you can go support. Go stake it somewhere else if you don't wanna stake it with me. So. Just make sure you're earning interest on your crypto. I believe it does represent a way for you to set up passive income to, to help protect your future self financially. Setting up passive income streams is a good thing. A lot of people talk about passive income streams and whatnot, um, and it's really hard for people to set those up sometimes, right? Not everyone has time for a side gig. Most people have time to, to have a crypto position and just collect interest, okay? It's, it's, it's basically just a passive income stream. You wanna set up as many of those as you can over the years, over the market cycles, get them set up, make sure you ensure your future self is set up for success. And, and I just continue, continue doing that. If you guys like the content, make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you're not already subscribed, we need to get to a half million subscribers. We still need about 9,000 subscribers. Uh, so let's see if we can, if we can trudge across that line. Um, also give the video a thumbs up. Click the value icon to turn on your notifications. Check out the premium list if you want to know how I'm navigating these markets. We have a sale going on. You can find a link to that in the description below. Thank you guys for tuning in. Definitely subscribe. Let's get to half a million. I will see you next time. Bye.